I'm Dan the Man, and this is the Betting Edge, powered by Inskin.com, Inside the Lines Playoff Edition. I give you the info to bury your man, Packers Falcons. All right, what a game we have here. Now listen, in my opinion, this is the game for the NFC Championship, because I don't think the Bears and the Seahawks are going to be able to beat the winner of this game. So whoever wins this one most likely will be your NFC Super Bowl representative, which makes this game even that more exciting. All right, check this out. The opening line came up with Dirty Birds, minus one and a half, was quickly bet to minus two, and now it's kind of settled in at minus two and a half flat. However, 63% of the betting action is on the Packers. So this game does have the potential to drop back down, so be very cognizant of that as we get closer to game day. Total open 45 and a half, and was bet under with some shot money. Wise guy money is what to say here. And it's down to 45 and a half right now, but the betting public is hammering the over at a ratio of 66%. So the game could go back up before game time. Injury-wise, no major injuries for either of the teams. Take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup stat-wise. Very, very close offensively and defensively for these teams. Packers average just about 24 points a game. Falcons almost 26. Rushing yards a game for Green Bay, just over 100. Falcons 118. Look at the passing yards, very close. Aaron Rodgers is, I believe, going to be a huge factor in this game. You know, Packers have a little better, you know, stat-wise as far as yardage goes for Aaron Rodgers, but Matty Ryan, Matty Ice have been doing great as well. Take a look at the defense. You know, the Packers just allowing 15 points a game. Another key is going to be that Packer D. And boy, did they look great against the Philadelphia Eagles on the road last week in the wild card weekend. Falcons averaging about letting 18 points a game. Sacks per game, almost three for the Pack, 1.9 for the Falcons. And the interceptions, very close, 1.4 for the Falcons and 1.5 for Green Bay. All right, take a look at the betting trends. The Falcons, the Dirty Birds, seven and one against the spread in the last eight games, following a straight up win of more than 14 points. The Falcons roll, they roll. It's almost an 88% trend there. As I mentioned, these trends so much more important in the playoffs. Packers, four and one against the spread in the last five games as an underdog of 0.5 to three points. That's an 80% trend right there. And then the under is eight and one of the Packers' last nine road games. That shows how great that Packer defense is. And obviously a couple of their opponents might not be able to score a lot. But boy, the Packers defense could be the reason this team goes to the Super Bowl. That's almost an 89% trend there. Pick, though. Got to tell you, very tough to win at the Georgia Dome, especially over the last couple of years since Matty Ice, this new Mike Smith regime, has taken over. Leading towards the Dirty Birds, as I mentioned, the Georgia Dome, a huge home field advantage since 2008. They are 20 and 4 at home. I've been to the Georgia Dome many times. That place gets loud, place gets rowdy. Very, very, very big factor for Falcons and for obviously their opponents. They're 7 1 this season, by the way. The Falcons are too. Matty Ice has been great in his home starts, and the 2.5 is just low enough to get my respect. Falcons minus 2.5. Bet it, bank it, believe in the dream. Let's do it. Well, that's going to do it for the show for today, and here are the four virtues to being a betting edge wizard. You know it's what you want to be. Number one, subscribe. Be an insider, not an outsider. Click that button. It's right there, and get all my three for free picks all NFL season long. You know their goal. Number two, share. Don't be greedy. There's plenty of money out there to be made for everybody. Also, good karma as well. Share it with your friends, your aunts, your uncles, your third cousin, Jebediah, even your ex-stepsister. You know, the one you didn't want anyone to know you hooked up with. Three, rate. You better click like this video. Don't even think about clicking thumbs down. If you don't click like, I might say Paulie Wan is after you, or worse, make you listen to a Justin Bieber album for 24 straight hours. And number four, comment. Ah, yes, you gotta love the comment field. Go ahead, post your comments, good or bad, doesn't matter. I love the feedback. I got the thick skin. Make some good comments, though. I might send you a free Ryan Leaf autograph nerf football. Come on, you gotta love that. Some bad comments, you might be the next douchebag of the day. Until next time, I'm Dan the Man. This has been The Batting Edge. Believe in the dream.